Hello math learners! In this video, we are going to learn about polynomials. What are polynomials? Before I will give you the definition of polynomials, let's have examples. Consider the following examples and non-examples of polynomials. All of these expressions are examples of polynomials. Observe them carefully. All of these are not polynomials. Observe them carefully. Now, based on the examples of polynomials and non-examples of polynomials, what is a polynomial? A polynomial is a special kind of expression where each term is a constant, a variable, or a product of constants and variables raised to a whole number exponent. Thus, an algebraic expression is not a polynomial when the variable is in the denominator. For example, a over b. If there is a variable in the denominator, that algebraic expression is not a polynomial. Next, when the exponent of the variable is not a whole number. All polynomials has exponents of whole number. That means if an expression, for example, this one, x exponent 1 half, this expression is not a polynomial because the exponent is a fraction and fractions are not whole numbers. Next, when the variable is under a radical sign, so, for example, square root of x. The x is under the radical sign and this is not a polynomial. Always remember that not all algebraic expressions are polynomials, but all polynomials are algebraic expressions. Now, there are different kinds of polynomials. We have the first one, which is monomial. Monomial is a polynomial with only one term. Examples of monomials are 2a, 3x squared y, and 1 half r. Next kind of polynomial is binomial. It is a polynomial with two terms. Examples. M plus 2N. As you can see, they have or it has two terms. 4R plus 2P. ST minus 2K. Next is trinomial. It is a polynomial with three terms. Examples. A plus B plus C x squared plus 2x plus 1. And the last kind of polynomial is the multinomial. It is a polynomial with four or more terms. Example, we have x cubed plus y plus x plus 1. As you can see, this polynomial has four terms. x cubed, y, x, and 1. And we have another example, this one. y cubed plus y squared minus y plus 14. Now let's talk about degree of polynomial. When we say degree, it is the largest exponent or the highest exponent of the given polynomial. Now how do we find the degree of the polynomial? If we are given a polynomial with only one variable used, we can find the degree of that polynomial by 
finding or determining the largest exponent of the variables that appears in any term. Example, this one. y cubed plus y squared minus y plus 14. As you can see, there's only one variable used and that is y. So to find the degree of this polynomial, we just need to find the largest exponent. Okay, and that is 3. So that means this polynomial has a third degree or the degree of this polynomial is 3. Now let's have another example which is w exponent 5 plus w exponent 7 minus 2w plus 1. We just need to find the largest exponent and that is 7. So that means the degree of this polynomial is 7. Okay, now let's have the degree of a term. To find the degree of a term, it is just equal to the sum of the powers of each variable in the term. So that means we will just add all the exponents of the term. So for example, we have xy cubed plus xy squared minus xy. We need to find the degree of each Term. For the first term, we have the exponent of x. Yes, we cannot see an exponent of x, but it is understood that there is 1. So that means the degree of the first term, we will just add 1 plus 3, which is equal to 4. While the degree of the second term, again, there is 1 here. 1 plus 2 is just equal to 3. And then for the degree of the third term, we have 1 and 1, which is 2. So this is how you are going to find the degree of each term. You just need to add the exponents. Okay, let's have another example. For the first term, we have 1, 1, and 3. And that is equal to 5. For the second term, we have 1 and 2, and that is equal to 3. 1 and 1, that is equal to 2. And for the last one, which is 14, it is understood that there is 1 here, so 1. Next, how about the degree of a polynomial with two or more variables? If a polynomial has two or more variables, to find its degree, we just need to find the highest degree for a term with non-zero coefficient. So example, np cubed plus mn squared minus mp. To find the degree of this polynomial, we need to find first the degree of each term. So we will add 1 and 3 which is 4 m which is 1 so let's add 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 and then the exponent of m and p is 1 and 1 and that is equal to 2 now to find the degree of this polynomial we just need to find the highest degree so the highest degree for each term is 4 so that means the degree of this polynomial is 4. Next, we have xy cubed z plus xy squared z minus xyz. Let's find first the degree of each term before we can determine what's the degree of this polynomial. So, this is 1, 3, and 1, which is equal to 5. While this is 1, 2, and 1, which is equal to 4. And this is 1, 1, and 1, which is equal to 3. The highest is 5. So that means the sum, I mean the degree of this polynomial is 5. Now let's talk about the standard form of a polynomial. A standard form of a polynomial is written in descending order. That means 
the highest degree term is written first, the next highest second, and so on. So, let's have examples. y cubed plus y squared minus y plus 14. Let's see if this polynomial is already in standard form. The highest is 3, followed by 2, next is 1, and then 14. So, this, polyno this polynomial is already in standard form. How about this one? s plus s exponent 4 plus s squared minus 8. Again, to write this polynomial in standard form, we need to arrange the terms in descending order. That means s exponent 4 will be written first, followed by the second highest, which is s squared. Next is s. And the last is the constant, negative 8. So, this polynomial is already in standard form. Now, let's have examples. Determine if the given expressions are polynomials or not. Identify the number of terms, kind of polynomial, degree of polynomial, and the standard form. Given. Okay, we have our first given, which is 5. Is it a polynomial or not? Yes. It is a polynomial. How many terms? There is only one term, so that means it is a monomial. What's the degree of 5 or the exponent of 5? is 1. And the standard form is, of course, 5. Next, 3x exponent 4 minus 2x. Is this a polynomial or not? Yes, it is a polynomial. How many terms? It has two terms. So that means this is binomial. And the degree, which is the highest exponent, which is 4. And it is already written in standard form, so we will just copy 3x exponent 4 minus 2x. Now, let's have the third example, 1 plus 3x exponent of negative 2 plus 2x. Is this a polynomial or not? As you can see, we have a negative exponent. And that is not a whole number. So that means it is not a polynomial. How many terms? There are three terms. What is the kind? Since this is not a polynomial, let's just leave this blank. Alright, now last example. Negative 9x cubed plus 2x exponent 4 minus 2. Is this a polynomial? Of course, this is a polynomial. How many terms? There are three terms, so that means this is a trinomial. What is the highest exponent? Because that will determine the degree, and it is 4. Is it written in standard form? No, so we will write this in standard form. We will start at 2, x exponent 4, followed by the second highest which is negative 9x cubed, followed by the constant, negative 2. So we are done. Thank you for today, math learners. And always remember, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics.